BlackFacts.com presents LGBTQ plus pioneers Gladys Bentley Gladys Bentley, stage name, Bobby Minton, was a Harlem Renaissance blues singer and cross-dresser. The eldest of four children, Bentley was born on August 12, 1907 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Bentley reported wearing her three younger brothers' suits to school when growing up. Her parents tried to cure Bentley by taking her to numerous doctors. The family struggled financially. A talented pianist and blues singer, she ran away to New York City at the age of 16. From early on, Bentley overtly included sexuality in her act with her song content, stage moves, and attire. She often dressed as a man in her signature black and white tuxedo. In fact, she became the most prominent mannish lesbian of the Harlem Renaissance. A large, 250-pound woman, her deep voice appealed to straight, gay, black, and white audiences. OK Race Records released eight singles of her music between 1928 and 1929. She had her own weekly radio program the following year. By 1933, Bentley headlined in nightclubs and theaters such as the Cotton Club and the Apollo. Bentley moved to Los Angeles to live with her mother. Her success picked up again during World War II with the expansion of gay bars on the West Coast. She recorded in 1945 for the Excelsior label. She was one of the most well-known and financially successful black women in the United States in the 1920s and 1930s. She surprised her audience by wearing dresses and publicly declaring in an August 1952 Ebony article, I am woman again. She performed again, most often at the Rose Room in Hollywood and appeared two times on Groucho Marx's television show in the 1950s. Gladys Bentley died suddenly from the flu in Los Angeles in 1960 at the age of 52. Learn more at blackfacts.com.